So as you guys know, I have reviewed the Microsoft Surface Laptop 3 15 inch on the channel. I reviewed the AMD version. I said I like the fact that Microsoft is creating a 15 inch version of this product. I just don't think going with AMD this year was the right move. They should have waited for the next gen AMD processors and for software companies to catch up optimize the software to work better with AMD parts because right now in the mobile space, Intel is still king. Now I did finally get a chance to play with the 13 inch version of the Surface Laptop and I personally feel this is the best bang for your buck Surface Laptop 3 you can buy. So the first thing to consider is portability. Like if you travel a lot or you're constantly on the move, 13 inch version just makes more sense. It's just a lighter and smaller laptop to carry around. It's not like you're getting more ports if you go up to the 15 inch model. Like both of these laptops share the same IO, the USB-A port, USB Type-C, which is not Thunderbolt 3, audio jack, and the Surface Connect. Like when you go from a MacBook Pro 13 to a 15 inch version, you're getting two more Thunderbolt 3 ports. These laptops are not giving you anything different. The next thing is display. And this is probably the only area that the 15 inch version really excels on. And that's only because the display itself is significantly bigger. But here's the thing. I actually think the 13.5 inch version is the sweet spot you wanna be working with because you're using that three by two aspect ratio. And because you have that vertical space, this 13.5 inch display feels a lot bigger than it actually is. Color accuracy, brightness is exactly the same between both of these laptops. Hard drive speeds are exactly the same between both of these laptops. Same goes for keyboard and touchpad. If you're looking for the best Windows touchpad right now, you're gonna find it on a Surface laptop. Sound quality has improved this year as well, but it's still coming out of the speakers. It's really nice and clear at the high end with good treble and good mids. The bass is kind of lacking, but for sound that's coming out of the keyboard, I think they did a pretty good job. Performance is another area where the 13 inch version just excels over the AMD 15 inch. I mean like the Intel processors inside of here are just better optimized by most applications, especially true if you're using Adobe, even if you're just watching 4K video, if you're rendering something, if you're using Photoshop, or even if you're just compiling code. This is just a faster, experience. Now, the AMD version does offer slightly better performance in games, but at the end of the day, these are not gaming laptops, and I imagine most people are not gonna be gaming on them. Repairability and upgradability is the same on both of these laptops. It's a lot easier this year compared to last, but the only thing you can really upgrade is the drive. Like, if you want a bigger SSD, you can do that, but everything else is pretty much soldered onto the motherboard. Now I know there's a business edition of the 15 inch Microsoft Surface Laptop 3, and that does offer Intel processors. But again, if you go with the 15 inch version, doesn't matter if you go with AMD or Intel, you're gonna take a big hit on battery life. Both of these laptops, the 15 and the 13, both have a 45 watt hour battery. I don't think it was a good move for Microsoft to put the same battery that's inside the 13 inch version into the 15 inch version. I'm getting 10 hours of battery life, doing productivity with the Surface Laptop 3 13 inches compared to only four or five with the AMD version. Now I've personally not tested the 15 inch Intel business variant of it, so I'm not sure what kind of battery life you're gonna get, but I imagine you're not gonna get any more than seven to eight hours of use. So here are my closing thoughts. If you have your mind set on a Surface laptop, I really think you should consider the 13 inch version first. Yes, it has a smaller display, but you're getting something that's smaller, portable, and even though it's 13 inches, it feels like you're working on something bigger. Plus, you're saving money because it's a few hundred dollars cheaper than the 15 inch model, and you get much better battery life. Now, if you really have your mind set on the 15 inch version, get the business edition. In fact, right now, it's actually being sold cheaper than the AMD model. You can't buy it directly off the Microsoft website, but I'll place a couple of retailers in the description down below. Let me know your thoughts on the Surface Laptop 3, Probably one of my favorite Ultrabooks that you can currently buy right now. I think for the next iteration, I would have loved to see Microsoft play some better ports on the sides. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.